Not hey guys, welcome to the Mental Health Show. Wow, it's a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> I'm trying to film here with the sun in my eyes and a beautiful sunny day. Am I grateful to be here? Am I grateful to be here? Healthy, well, sane. Um, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder um, nearly 10 years ago and I went into a therapeutic community and I was in there for nearly two years, did my work and came out with inner peace. And so I'm here to tell you that borderline personality disorder, a condition which loads and loads of people are being diagnosed with, a complex needs disorder, is totally manageable. I went into a therapeutic community for nearly two years and I had to surrender. It took me a long time to surrender in the community and I will tell you my story over the next episodes that you watch because it's really important for you to know that if you do get to go into a therapeutic community, you do have to surrender. Now when you first go in there, you're just going to do what you do and you won't know that it's harming you. But that's the way it is. But then they're going to take your medication off of you because all the work is done without medication. I have never had any medication for my condition and I am very, very well. So it's up to me to go out there and to tell you the truth of how BPD can be managed. But you need to get yourself to a therapeutic community or learn the tools that I'm going to teach you. So here on Moving On TV, this is the Mental Health Show and in the next few episodes, bit by bit, I will be filling you in more and more about BPD because I do not want to hog this channel, but I think it's so important to tell you what I've got to tell you. You see, I went into the therapeutic community and I learned that I was blaming myself from my childhood and it took a hell of a lot for me to realise that and once I realised it, I was able to let it go and then I got my inner peace and the inner peace has stayed with me ever since even through the death of my father and being four months in a wheelchair as you know I'm still on crutches getting myself back to walking so bit by bit I'm getting there but I have never touched any medication not for anything not for my mental health issues not for anything and I'm here to tell you that BPD is totally manageable with the structure and support but one of the most important things you have to do when you're diagnosed is you have to explain to your family what borderline personality disorder is and the only way you can understand that is by reading reading about your condition and learning about your personalities you see because when I go into a certain personality, if I do, which I do occasionally, you know, we do on and off, these personalities live inside of us and in times of stress they come to the fort. I explain all of that to my family or to my husband and then he knows how to deal with it. And the most important thing you've got to expect from your family and ask them to help you with is to validate that part of you, to love that part of you. And if they can't do that, well then you're going to have to do it for yourself. You're going to have to learn that part of you, that, learn to love that part of you, learn to be compassionate towards that part of you, validate that part of you and tell them they ha you have a right to be angry, you have a right to be frightened. Because a lot of us when we were children, we were told, I know I was, we weren't allowed to express our emotions um, and that's how we were brought up. I know I was and it's very difficult when you're an adult because you've got those affirmations inside you that you're not allowed to be frightened, you're not allowed to cry, blah, 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 especially men. I'm telling you now that you're allowed to cry. You have to express your emotions. You have to get them out, but in a safe way. So the therapeutic community gives you that safety. The therapeutic community gives you the bell to ring when you're feeling that you need support. The therapeutic community gives you a 24-hour support system where you all support each other. The therapeutic community gives you responsibility for your life and the community because you have to sit in meetings, you have to chair meetings. The therapeutic community gives you a voice and a presence.
and I'm here to tell you all of that. So if you get diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, ask your doctor to refer you to a TC or a therapeutic community in your area. Go in there and do your work. And I can tell you from my experience, if you do, you will get in a piece. I can promise you that you will get in a piece like I did. And I was a difficult case, believe me. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say now because I want to move on with other people's programs and people are blocking the sun here. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say today on the Mental Health Show. Get yourself to a therapeutic community, ask your doctor, and we need more. So I'm asking the Prime Minister to build more therapeutic communities in this country instead of giving out loads of drugs that don't work. You take care. If you have to take some medication, you have to take it. I do it my way. And in the therapeutic community, you're not allowed to use medication because you have to find out what shocked you in the first place. So you take care. Lots of love. And if you want to come onto the show, let me know. It's um, lauren at movingontv.uk. You can call me on 07437 532798. Bringing the hope back into your lives. Take care now. Thank you for watching. Bye.